Last year, people in the UAE watched and worried as Hurricane Irma wiped out communities all across Florida. And so we decided to help the people and the state recover. The UAE has deep connections with Florida. So as friends do for each other in times of need, we asked how could we help some of the hardest hit communities recover from the hurricane. Projects will include school renovations, home and park restorations, and buying new tools for students and clinics. But the grant goes far beyond rebuilding structures and replacing equipment. Jacksonville is grateful for your investment in our children and our schools and our homeless population in vulnerable housing. Uh, these are things that really, really will have impact on real people's lives and neighborhoods. So from the bottom of my heart, from a grateful city, from our city council, and from the citizens of the people of Jacksonville, thank you. One of the major purchases that we're looking to do is transportation for our students. Maybe get a small bus that we have here at the school at our disposal to get kids on the job. And so this way we can get them out there and they can get those real hands-on experiences and it opens them up for jobs too. Uh, the computer labs have been extremely outdated. Um, you know, they're approaching five, six, seven years old. Um, this will give us a chance to kind of rethink how we're going to do some of the uh, different activities and technology uh, relationships that they have with the curriculum. And it will really allow us to um, give them a, a new avenue and explore new options through technology. And by partnering with the city of Jacksonville and local nonprofit organizations, these projects will strengthen the community and make it even stronger than it was before Irma.